we have successfully addressed the issues of uh, the uh, rehabilitation, immediate rehabilitation. Now we have to go into long term strategy of reconstruction. It is not just uh, reconstructing what was the is building back better. That's the slogan. Now that uh, program should learn from the lessons of the flood. The first lesson is you have to be much more sensitive to your environment. Two, we have to modernize. You know when you build uh, uh, bridges, you have to also take into consideration in flood time boat has to traverse under that. Roads construction has to cons take into consideration that there may be floods, designed roads are required, new types of buildings are required. So uh, modern technology has got to be uh, brought in. An innovation. See, flood was very taught a lot. Who ever thought that uh, fishing boats can play the most important role in flood mitigation and rescue operations uh, during the flood? I don't think anywhere it has been used. But if one fought for such a um, uh, approach, if the fisher boats were not used, um, I think thousands would appreciate. Uh, so, innovation becomes important and above all, participation of people. Uh, so, this spirit of uh, addressing, facing the flood has got to be carried forward into the reconstruction. And therefore, we are still sitting, we are still uh, discussing about how to do that. We also also negotiate for the loans and there are a lot of problems. India government has not so far uh, accepted our request that uh, our FRBM limit be raised for public borrowing or at least consider the multilateral agencies aid for flood reconstruction outside the FRBM. And my point is how the budget would address the uh, so, task of mobilizing funds. So this discussion is going on. But uh, this is not the only um, source of funds. Um, there are basically three sources. One is our plan. We still continue the plan still. So some 30,000 crores or rupees in the plan. So plan is given a tweak to address specifically flood areas and flood related issues. Particularly in uh, livelihood. Second is uh, KIFB. Uh, we have a program for mobilizing uh, funds outside the budget to for investment in the uh, infrastructure. So something like 10,000 crores in this program is going to be spent next year. These are all major infrastructure. So that is the second source. And uh, third is the rebuild program, horizons of which is not fully clear. Yet. All these three will contribute to the budget. And in the budget, I hope uh, to bring various schemes of various departments um, or these three streams I spoke to you about, make them into integrated programs to address specific program problems or specific areas. So budget will be essentially bringing together these different streams and various uh, schemes uh, into a defined uh, programs which will be part of rebuilding Kerala. So this is the big gap. It cannot be sustained in this manner. At the same time, given the problems Kerala is facing, you cannot curtail expenditure. You have to be in expansive move. Because, uh, because of flood, our growth rate is going to be the lowest uh, in the uh, last three decades. Uh, so you cannot afford to take a, a prudent 
behavior and uh, cut down on expenditure. But at the same time, you want to go into fiscal consolidation. And therefore, while adopting uh, expansive stance, uh, we will try, not try, our strategy is to mobilize, raise, say, GST by something like uh, 30 percent. Now it looks uh, astoundingly high because our growth rate is 10 percent. And that I think is because there is a huge tremendous leakage taking place. Once the annual return comes, once our EV bill system stabilizes, we will catch these guys. This money is not gone for every, all time. Those who have taken additional extra uh, credit, they would be brought back. They will be asked to <laughs> pay up. So that will take me to 14% growth next year. Then if you are taking this uh, seriously, definitely it will have back impact upon next year's collection. So another, that would take us to 30% next year. And that will enable me, despite the um, expensive fiscal stance, to bring down the revenue deficit to something 1% and uh, definitely keep fiscal deficit to 3%. We don't go above that. It couldn't have been realized because revenues were not picking up. See, we are not going in a mood to have a expenditure squeeze. In Kerala, it is not possible, uh, expenditure squeeze. So, only the last left government, the, because of fiscal crisis in the late 1990s and 2001, the UDF government uh, made a major squeeze of uh, the expenditure. Uh, and there was public protest, uh, they lost the elections and left came. Uh, our strategy was to expand the revenue and therefore fiscal consolidation continue, but now under revenue expansion program. <coughs> this uh, uh, progression, this trend was uh, destabilized, uh, say, in 2013-14 onwards. <coughs> Revenues began to stagnate. Our expectation was GST would help us to get over it. That expectation, hope we have not given up. I still hope next year will be the year of turning point. Kerala will move once again move the path of fiscal consolidation. As of now, to be frank, the fiscal condition is bad. Hmm? As of now, to be frank, the fiscal condition is bad. Yes, of course. Um, I'll be dishonest if I say <laughs> it's a rosy picture. That only shows that uh, my scope of over achievement is better. Mm -hmm. I will see that I will give an amnesty and collect a major proportion of these ideas. About half the ideas are non collectible, mm -hmm. they are legacy of the past. But rest can be collected, and that we will do. Um, well, I have done it yeah. the past. I will repeat it again. It will be only B2C transactions and it will leave out uh, lower uh, rate commodities. Uh, but the problem is, challenge is if GSTN will modify its uh, software to accommodate us, that we are not sure. And the ministerial panel finally... Yeah, administration of the SES is a big issue, big question. The EC recommended. India government has not yet accepted. I hope a government will come in the center, which will be much more sensitive to the needs of the states in calamity. Um, whenever the, the international global crisis of 2008, we all raised our 
ceiling limit on borrowing. No, it's only natural cause. But there's a calamity. Yeah. And the state should be given the flexibility. I hope a government that will be sensitive to this stance, this understanding will come to power. In I don't think there will be any package for Kerala. Kerala is not in the radar very much. Um, but there will be a lot of populist uh, statements.